What's up, y'all? Jimmy here. It's a beautiful morning on the farm. We're going to do something a little different than we've done. Uh, we actually have a bull. That's one of our original bulls. He's getting up there in age, and he's been good to us. He's had a lot of girlfriends over the years, but since he's getting old, we want to go ahead and try to collect him, as they call it. But we have to test his semen. So, in order to do that, we have to do what's called electro ejaculation. You heard me right. So, if you want to see what that's all about, sit tight. You're about to find out. Go have a look make sure he's still in here and he is it's a man of the hour there he is so say hi bud mm -hmm. all right so I would tell you this bull's name but I can't pronounce it we raise Wagyu bulls and all Wagyu cattle here on the farm. Wagyu, actually literal translation, is Japanese cow. So if you've heard of Kobe beef, that's what we raise here. So these cows have crazy, crazy Japanese names that I'm not gonna try to pronounce, but to make it easy, I just call him Cletus. And he's gonna come over and say hi. What's up, buddy? You're fixing to have a good day. So, like I said, he's eight years old, or shoot, he's 10 years old now, so we're gonna go ahead and collect him as long as his semen sample's good. It's a viable, good swimmers, all that fun stuff. We're gonna send him out, he's gonna get collected. Stay tuned. Alright, so as you can see, our bull's super docile. He's been worked a bunch of times. He's just a big baby. But, today's his lucky day. So this is Kyle behind me, right here. This is our vet. He's going to actually be doing the whole thing. We have a uh, identification form. He's ripped out his tag. Did he? Yeah. Or, or yeah. Alright, 
So a breeding soundness exam basically just uh, make sure that he's sound to do his job, right? So there's a lot of things that we need to look at. His vision's one of them. He's got no pink eye, he's got no cancer eye. Eyes look good. He's got to see the ladies in front of him, yep. right? He can see them, he can smell them, everything else is pretty decent. Do you know how old he is? He's right at 10 and a half. All right, we might mouth him to check his teeth here in a minute, but we might do it at the end because he wants to throw his head all over the place. Um, Let's calm down a little bit. Put this here so it doesn't hit your cables. So the next thing we'll do is we'll check out his feet. He's got pretty nice feet. We'll check his joints, make sure his hawks don't have any effusions. Usually the most common place. We'll give him a little haircut for the ladies. A little manscaping. Don't make sure try that at home. Just make sure it's nice and clean. Now do you do house calls also for doing? Just for this. I, I you know, went to barber school for it. Okay, perfect. All right, next is a Scarlet's Conference. So this gives us a good opportunity to feel his uh, testiclads. He doesn't like that that much. So we can squeeze them down so they're nice and parallel. He thinks we're gonna castrate him. Then we'll measure this on there. Just a nice, dude, seriously. <laughs> try to get it again so you can see it but it was about a 36 and a half which is passing so right there where that bar here is where we measure it so it's like 36 and a quarter which is good you measure it around the widest part palpate his testicles palpate his morbatic cords his epididymises Check his hawks words. he's what do you in, think he's in decent body condition for for a wide view um yeah they so usually lighter framed anyway. So. Yeah, usually a little thinner, so we'll call him Cletus. We'll record that he's a Wagyu. He's a body condition, we'll call him a uh, four and a half on him. I'm just going to go in the palpation door. Perfect. Nice friendly lube. <laughs> Slide this across yonder. We got the fancy door for him to get in. Most of the lube falls off. Get real up and close and personal there. All right, so just nice and easy. Gonna clean them out. You're getting all the poop you know, out. You know the poopy out the way. Because that's where you're gonna actually stick the probe, right? Yep. So this also gives an opportunity to check sex glands. You know, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna feel his ampulla. That's where the cords basically are kind of a thick muscular section. Go to the epididymis, then we'll come back, drag our fingers across the prostate, get a good feel of that. To the sides, bulls have what's called a vesicular gland, and that provides a lot of the uh, seminal fluid to the semen, so that it helps, live, helps the uh, sperm live in the cow. Turns out the uterus is not a very hospitable environment for it, so it needs some help, some groceries to make the trip. This also kind of prepares him a little bit for what's about to happen, so it's not just a brutal shock. He was full, too. Yeah, he didn't do us any favors and uh, <laughs> make you work for it. He didn't do us any favors and empty things out. Just want to be real gentle. These guys aren't used to this. We don't want to tear his rectum or anything. A lot of lube. Nice and clean. All right, so this. Red eye. All right, so butthole clean. Next. <laughs> All right. This is the electro ejaculation probe. Oof. This is actually smaller than the standard ones. I had this one made to be a little easier on these guys. Was that um, for uh, home use also? Or? No, they make other ones for okay. that. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll put the link in the description at the end yeah. and you can pick that up. Put it up here somewhere, right? There you go. <laughs> um, all right, so these probes here are gonna sit on his prostate where I was just palpating and sit on the ampulla. This probe's a little front weighted, so it's gonna dip down like that and put good contact pressure on the mucosa Oof. and his rectum. That box is set to where it'll start ramping the voltage up very, very low. Super low amperage, very low voltage, right? And so it'll ramp up, it'll very pulse. Very gentle at first. Very gentle, and then I can kind of control it a little more fine tune it. If we need it to make if, things happen. Well, if we need to dial it down a little bit because if he's like real sensitive, you know? So this, like, if it's on, it doesn't hurt at all. Like, if it's on me, and I'll let it go on a couple things, I can't even feel it, and we'll let it We'll let it hit here. There, gotta turn it on. Prove that it's on. 
So like right now, it's running and I can't feel it. Super low, super low. So it's not really hurting them. It is a little reactive. Nice and gentle. I would touch it, but I know where that's been and I'm not touching that. Yeah, that's just this <laughs> fresh out of other bowls. <laughs> All right, so treat it like it's your asshole, right? Nice and easy. Nice, nice and lube. I mean, I've never used anything like that, so I can't. And this is why we clean them out and dilate them beforehand. Let him accept it. Oh, yeah. A lot smaller than my hand. Yeah, so that kind of holds the tail, holds yep. it in like that. Yep. i tell you what, let's drop this so your arm is safe. I'll tell you what, if you want to come back here, this is the best place to be. Just stand off to the side here in case he does throw a leg back. Hold, hold this side. Let's hold that side with one hand. Yeah, use your other hand. Use this hand down here. Slide warmer, so this keeps all the slides nice and warm. That's where it's gonna go. So we're not getting a bunch, we just need a little bit. So we're not actually having to catch it all. Yep, so I'm just gonna take a sample. You can collect this in a, uh, let's call it a love cup, which I can show you later, but it's a <laughs> Is PVC. that a technical term, a love cup? It's a technical term. It's a PVC <laughs> container that catches it. Perfect. Um, but I find this is quicker, that I can get on the scope quicker before it starts dying. I can keep it warm this way. Okay. Always check with my pro man. You ready? Ready pro man. All right. You're forever going to be known as the probe man though. Well, there's a lot of probe men. Alright, so it's ramping up. We'll hit a zero. It's going to do nothing. He's going to start to feel this. So I'm going to hold it down. Oh, he felt that. Yep. It's very low. Very low. But I'm going to hold it down so that he gets used to it. His eyes are getting wide. He's like, oh, buddy. <laughs> Alright, we'll let him have a little more. And what we're looking for, is this is normal. He's going to, every pulse, his muscles are going to contract. So when he's moving, it's pulsing. Yep, so, and you can see it coincides with the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm letting it work up a little higher and higher every time. So this thing will only go up to about 13 volts, which is really low it's with low, the amperage. Yeah. 12 volts of car, so it's not. Yeah, so it's. How many you, times does it normally take? Does it, every bowl's different? Or? Every bowl's a little different. He's already giving a little bit, but I'm waiting for him to extend. Yeah, okay, he's got to come out of there. Yeah, so this will make him extend. He's getting a little cloudy already. So he'll start extending all the way. Calvin's in a good position so he can't get hurt here. Evidently he's left footed. <laughs> Who would have known? Usually right footed. Got that left going. That's because he's eight. He's from Japan. Ah. Over there. Swirls the other way. Yeah. It's like the soil water. So it looks like he's getting a little cloudy right now, so we're going to take just a sample right here. We'll take another one. See, that's what that's what we're looking for right there. Alright, nice. While we have him extended like that, I'm looking at his penis, I'm looking at his penis, I'm looking at everything. Looks like it's still in good shape. Make sure there's no damage. Younger bulls, we might look at different things. Motility is fantastic on him. I don't know if you can... That means he's swimming like crazy, is that... Yeah, I don't know if you can... Here, I'll zoom out on this. Maybe you can see that with the camera. Let's see. Calvin, you can use that probe out. Uh, Might be able to. You can kind of. Oh, yeah. What I can do later is I can, after I stain this slide, I can send you we'll a... zoom out. Yeah, you can see him swimming around a little bit. Yeah, so that's actually a really good motility. I'd call that like 90 or 100%, like when I first looked at it. It's cooling down on here, right? So it's gonna get... So it does seem it's slowly dying, but it's not changing how the cells look. So now we'll take some, some, some stain. And uh, grab my stick that I left over here. Your little twizzle stick. Let the prober get out of the way. <laughs> we only need a couple drops here. That's more than sufficient. And then we'll take our slide, run it up into our stain. And, and what is that? Smear it out. So as the semen dies, yeah, that stain will preserve it, or sort of. Basically, it stains the background. Okay. And then the. Uh, and then the um, under a phase contrast scope, which I have at home, and I'll read this out later. The uh, so 
this is another way to stain it. Okay. You kind of get some gradient, but a lot of times this is very concentrated. But because you can roll it back and forth, you can kind of get this gradient. Mixing it? Or it's yeah, just, so it's mixing the semen with the stain. Light, okay, I can see the different shading kind of. So but sometimes I can get that gradient going. So sometimes that helps reading it. And you can see the difference there. I prefer staining it like that. But So what that'll do is that'll make it... I can pull up a picture and show you kind of what it would look like on a stain slide. It'll make the semen highlight. So that Highlighted you can, semen. So that you can better read it. All right, here we go. So this would be... This is a bowl that had a lot of detached heads. But it'll make the semen stand out under a phase contrast scope so you can, yeah, you can see, see it very well. well. Compared to the, uh, this is a little con um, okay. concentrated, more concentrated. So this would be a more concentrated like this uh, slide. And yeah. Less concentrated. Like that's very concentrated. You got a bunch in there, yeah. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah. he's got a lot of proximal droplets, you know, so, so we look at those kind of defects and we'll count him out and see exactly uh, how we, he's doing. All the weird stuff vets have on their phone, huh? Yeah, all, all the nice, <laughs> all the nice pictures. I don't want to see what else he's got on there. So basically, as of right now, this bull's passing very well. So he's good. We'll see if he'll let me grab his teeth, but I'm not gonna fight him. I'm not gonna fight him too terribly much about it because we're right up here against this. Hey. Yeah, he's gonna let you know. Tell you what, do you have a uh, dewormer hook? All right. So sometimes this is a safer way if they want to throw their head with horns and you don't have a chute that has like a mug and bar that goes across. Clearly doesn't like this. But he'd be better about it, but you know, it's a different environment. Maybe after what you just did to him, he's a little, uh, you he was, know, he was a little you didn't off. buy him dinner or nothing? He's a little pissed off tire. <laughs> He's obviously been dewormed before like this. <laughs> yeah. For your own good, dude. There you go. Get some lube. Yeah. Get some grease. Get some WD-40. He's an asshole, huh? Yeah, usually he's not this bad, but he's... All right. We got him hooked and we can tilt this down and hold him here and we can check his pearly whites. So he's got all his teeth. It's for your own good, dude. We'll give him a good dewormer. There we Give him a little extra so he can spit some out. There we go. But he's got all his teeth. And all in all, for his age, he's doing pretty dang good yeah. then. So all in all, he's passing everything up to this point. We just have to read out that stain slide and do a cell count on it. And once we do that cell count and he's uh, passing those standards, then he can go. Then he's a uh, satisfactory potential breeder. There you go. You know? So, yeah, good bull. So, kind of the same thing that I had to do because uh, we went through infertility treatments, but the probe was, it wasn't that big. It was close. So, just figured we'd go ahead and check it on the bulls and see how it went. Jimmy, you said you weren't <laughs> going to tell anyone about that. <laughs> well, listen. He was cheaper than using the doctor, the fertility doctor. So, Kyle's been over here before, you know. All right, there you go. If you've never seen it, that's what it is. Uh, he explained it awesome. You know what we're doing. We're going to actually, from what he said, he, he looks good. So he's going to go ahead and do a, a couple things with his bigger microscope back at his lab. And uh, we'll get the, I guess, final verdict. But it looks like it's he's going to be good. So what we're going to do, since he's getting older, you know, he may have two years. He could have five years. Who knows how long he's got. But we're going to send him up somewhere and he's actually going to be collected and they're going to get a lot of semen they're going to put it in straws and then we can use it to ai all our cows any future cows we get and then that way when he's dead and gone we can still get his genetics and keep on going he spits out real great calves awesome marbling so we're always looking for that real good intermuscular fat in our steaks and this guy he's awesome but you can see he's just he's hanging out he's doing good what do you think bud that wasn't so bad huh like like Kyle said, super gentle, low voltage, you know. I actually held it, it wasn't bad at all. So, and you can tell he enjoyed it. So we're gonna send him back out. He's got some feed waiting for him. He's been good today, so he's gonna get some extra feed. So now that that's all over, the fun part begins. I have to put him back and I'm by myself, but I recruited my helpers. Hi. 
Can you say hi? Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. Say hi. Keep it. <gasps> you see the cow? You want to go see him? Say who? You want to go see the bull? You say hi, Mr. Bull. What's that? Is that a moo? He's ready to go, huh? He's ready to get out of there. Alright. Here goes nothing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. As you can see, uh, you saw something different today I'd imagine you probably haven't seen. Some of you may have, but we're going to try to show you everything we do, whether it's hunting, fishing, riding on the four-wheelers, the side-by-sides, cooking, or uh, electro-ejaculating cows. So go ahead and check out some of these other videos we got up. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Y'all have a good one.